Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Mafia. Last time we did the whole Saint on the Cinema Mission and we saw the first time where you guys were actually seeing the reason why Tommy had that sort of reaction to the guy begging was because of the fact that it was his first time actually seeing what this life was like and the fact that I think it was it's probably because he saw some sort of humanity in them and it was just really jarring because he hadn't seen that before so we are going to continue on we also got a really cool insight into frank tommy was driving him somewhere at the end of the last mission and it was a cool little moment that we got to saw between them anyway let's continue a trip to the country 1933 back then everything went through frank the plans the orders the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Okay, meet Frank out back. Let's look up on some lore. What's this? Luigi. Sarah loaned these books to March. Please return them without thanks, Frank. You know, it's a good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. Oh, I'm glad I can do that for her. Ooh, what's here? National Telegram. Confirming visit is planned. Can't wait to see you all again. Cousins. Okay. I, there's usually not anything up here, but I do quite like looking. Oh, there is someone. Sometimes there's law, sometimes there's insight. I think it's also cool though to see how the rooms change. Oh, those I think are both down. That's that's us Luigi downstairs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then go through the kitchen, but I also don't think there's anything there. In the day. Can you go through here? Yeah, there's nothing. Some uh, politician on the take. Now, these storms just raging. Right? And we're driving out to the burbs to cap this guy. The street lights weren't so good, so we're driving in the dark. We get dark. to the house, and we're about to make our move. And then there's this lightning flash. And for a split second, in the front yard, I see this head just sitting there. Stand, what? Cut off at the neck. Nah, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. Guess the guy had more than his share of enemies. And they never found the body. Bullshit. God's truth. Crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the audio down there. I just bit too loud uh we will let's go see vincenzo oh god hello 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 oh he's asleep cool what are my current weapons uh let's pick up let's pick up a shotgun i guess and I do prefer the pistol. Yeah, wet but good. Who's he speaking to? I do prefer the pistol over the revolver. I just really don't like the reticle. I really don't. Apparently they improve with the game, so. And apparently all the guns have different reticles. But it's very hard to get precise aim when the reticle is so big. Thanks for waiting, Tom. 
The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good okay. stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. I love how almost ominous Frank is. I do just see Alfred though. I I can't unsee Alfred. It's it. He's just he's just Alfred to me. If you want it, Tommy. Thank you, Ralphie. Working late, Ralphie. I says his sleep when for for Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f f f fixed the cars that time. I changed the p p plates again. You can't be too careful. That's a nice car. Let's see you in order. Okay. Get some rest, please. Sorry, I don't like driving with the radio on. It's not one of my favorite things. Especially if I'm trying to talk or trying to listen. I get a bit overstimulated. Because the engine, then like speaking, trying to think of why I'm trying to say. If the characters are speaking, dialogue. Then you have the engine. Did I say the engine? I actually don't know. I, so I don't know. Apparently it doesn't help too much. You know, because I still make the same mistakes whether I have it on or not. This game, though. There is something about the driving in this game. The scenery. I love it. I love it so, so much. I think it's also the uh, the fluorescent lights. This game doesn't use ray tracing, I don't believe. But they still, what they call screen, oh, is it screen space reflections? Oh, that's interesting. It's something like that though, I think they use instead to kind of give the effect of ray tracing but without the power needed to run it. I, it screens something. Screenplay something. Screen space? Screenplay? I don't know. I, I can't remember what it is, but it's one of those things. And it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm guessing 40 to 80, 80 is the limit, like 85 is that, and if you go over that you're speeding and the cops will get you. I'm not 100% sure. I do think though, of all the driving, all games I've played with driving, this is my favourite one to driving. I don't know. I really don't know. I just, maybe it's the lack of cars on the road that helps me, or it's the fact there's something different with the handling that I haven't experienced in other games. But. I definitely, I mean, apart from the race, the race was tricky. 
which is something I would rarely ever admit, considering I win most of my races. Oh, that's Come on, Tom. I'm so sorry. I needed to sneeze. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I was literally like, ugh. Anyway. Hey, hey! Watch it, pal. Just try it out. <sighs> say, you know this place? Uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. Gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. That's crazy, off, what? Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> I'm really surprised that they're I all okay what kind of with that. She could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. Yeah, uh, Luigi told us that, right? She's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. <laughs> That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. I'm so surprised that they're all... Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Willing for it? Don't let your pecker get all shriveled up. Probably just try to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. Uh, <laughs> something bad. Like he ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That little thing of defeat that, that looks. Bastard. Oh, I like it's that. It's just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. I just thought that was such a cool little subtle thing, because it was like, oh, you know he's gonna give in, but the way he performed that. Oh, I liked it. I liked it. Okay, we need to search for some clues. Let's have a look in here. Oh. Someone's been waiting here tonight. One quarter out of work. Government reports show no end to slowdown. Measures to date have failed to halt economic slide. Unemployment unemployment stands at 25 percent farm foreclosures are at a two-year high as smallholders battle the combined threat of financial hardship and the dust storms choking the high plains in response the president proposes new legalization no new legis legislation to stabilize the banking system okay doing a little bit of law reading whilst waiting for us Guy we pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. Place is derelict. What's this? Oh, a cigarette card. Cool. Uh, what's in here? What kind of guy shoots a dog? Oh my god. Well, no, the place is trashed and there's a blood trail. I'd, I'd, I'd hope that wouldn't sound right or look right or feel right. Missing farmer found dead, Lost have Lost Heaven, Il Illinois? Is that Illinois? June 17th, Han Harry Smith, missing for two months, was confirmed dead today by the Lost Heaven Country Coroner Office. A fruitless search led by the farmer's father and neighbors ended several weeks ago. 
the grisly discovery of the body was made by local children looking for edible mushrooms and berries in woodland local to cops farm the death is not being treated as suspicious due to how mr smith's body was hang found hanging by the neck he is survived by his elderly father oh. oh god what are you doing could it i don't think it would have been planted like that where the hell are you hiding wait i didn't get to have a look at A load of stuff back here. Jesus Christ, Sam. I don't know if there is anything though. This all looks very closed off. We might we might get into here. Maybe. Especially that. That looks sus. Anything in here? No. Okay. Is this where- this isn't where we walked in, is it? Hey buddy! Oh, he's been shot. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay then. Oh! Get over here! I got him pinned down! Don't like you get put down. Dude here, Elder. Where are you going? <laughs> Ammo. Oh. Oh, what's this? Corpse Farm. Copes. Copes Farm. Nine o'clock. Oh, ambush plans. Northern Country Road, two miles right at gas station. Follow sign to dam. One mile, then left after bridge. Poor bastard must have taken longer to die. I'm surprised we can't pick up his ammo. Not here. Canadian telegram. The cousins meet at usual place. Uncle is happy. The gift is on the way. First prepared for fear. This was a setup. Is there ammo? We'd really do with some ammo. Oh, I didn't get to look at the other thing. Wow! It's me, Tom. Polly. Hey, Polly. What took you so long? I'm looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Is that... There's a sheriff badge. The cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. 
This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Border Patrol. Do I have the... These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, so we're going over here now. What the hell is that? Is Sam hold Oh, the barn's open. No way. Both barns are open. Oh, that's a load of blood. Great. Tommy! You don't want to see this! Is that a molly? Jesus. Wait, I want the molly. Sorry, I know now's probably not the best time, but... What does this say? Personal description, signalment, Joseph Tremblay, Bottler, Canada... 6th of October in 1899, grey, red. Looks like we found the Canadians. See Sam in there? No. no. <sighs> like some. <sighs> Poor bastards. Check every building. These are both open. Do these lead outside? Yeah. Ooh. Hey. What does it say, George? I have it on good authority that Salieri's whiskey handover is tonight. Our mutual friend wants this line of Canadian booze coming into the city shut down. I want you and your men at the farm we discussed by 9 p.m. Wait through the night and tell the boys it's fine. If things get rough, they can take some. Is that alcohol home? To thank them for coming so far south. Good hunting. Yeah, border cops doing the rebels' dirty work. Open it, please. So now just this one. There's something up in that barn over there, Tom. Okay. Where is that? Oh! <gasps> oh, that's not Siam. Oh, go! Public sale following the siege of Copes. Why do I keep saying Corpse? Hope's farm and the foreclosure of the business of J. Smith and Son by the Grand Imperial Bank. Those heaven assets will be sold at public auction on Tuesday, the 1st of August, 1932. Oh, this is a year. We're in 1933, though. Okay. It's probably stupid to get this now. I probably could have waited. But it's fine. Boom! Where are you, Sam? Sam! <gasps> Oh no. Oh, how do I. Wait, how do I crouch? Sorry. <laughs> how do I. Is X. Let me get forward because I can't. Does a revolver aim further? Oh. 
behind that. Try that again. X. Come on, fellas. Push through. Tommy, look out. Okay, I'm gonna go forward. You're a good guy. I want to get this dude. Ooh. No shot. Tommy! Nice. That was anything but clean, but it's okay. It is what it is. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Is the floor cracked? Or is that hay? I think it's just hay. Sammy, oh Jesus, what have they done to you? Not Sam. Grace has a lot of blood. Not literally anyone but Sam. No, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. Sam. Go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. But I'm the better driver, okay. apparently. Wait, there's literally first aid right behind you. I can patch me up. You can patch him up, too. Hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. I don't even have that long with him. <gasps> oh, it's not good. Is it gonna redo my health? Where did all these guys come from? See you. Come down, Tom. <laughs> Thank Christ you came when you did. Oh, I should have waited. <laughs> I just, I hate, I hate the aiming. Why does he even go like that? It's. I probably should have taken his gun, actually. I really wish there was a way I could make the radicals smaller, though. Where these guys come from? Tommy, move! Go you, I go you, it's okay. Gotcha. 
It's okay. Count me out, Tom. Hurts over here. Okay. Jesus, this hurts. E. Jesus Christ. Holy's not here, Where's though. The truck? Crap, we got cops. Why can I not? Take that. You're not getting close to Sam. Oh, did it. Holly! Oh, Christ. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. You, 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 you long enough? Massacre. There's no up in there. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Why can't I go get him? Oh, this is amazing. I have to shoot instead. Oh, I don't mind that. But they're behind you. Blast them down. Just don't let them get past us. I'll try. I wish I could throw a molly. I don't know how. And there are cops too. Oh, they're all cops. Oh, God. Okay. That thing back there is huge. Where the hell did they find that truck? We have unlimited ammo, which you know is fine. Okay, I need to aim for the drivers. I can't change to a molly. I need to aim for the drivers, that's what I need to do. Oh, the wheels! Wait, I need to aim for the wheels. Oh, shit. It's hard to see the where the wheels would be, oh, Yeah, I see that, buddy. Holy oh! My pedal is to the metal! My pedal is to the metal, ha! <laughs> There's more. Okay, I see that, Polly. Okay, maybe I don't shoot. Yeah, you 
okay? We're in <gasps> um. Oh god. Where are you going, buddy? Still off others. I actually don't know. Shit. Shoot out the gun when there's a break in the fire. Shoot out the gun. Oh, okay. Well, am I soft locked here? No shot. I'm soft locked. There's no way. Shoot out the gun when there's a break in the fire. Oh, when there's a break in the fire. Shoot now. Okay. <gasps> Still up, he's still up. We're at the doctor's house. Same, don't you die on me. Paulie, what the hell are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, I just don't feel like you just woke up. Sorry to wake you, but um. We had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'll be fine. I want to stay. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Stop. Oh, I didn't even have to drive back. It's quite nice. I guess I do. Drive to Sarah's. Oh, what happened to the car there? <laughs> What's happening with the car? The cops are there, how cool.
definitely just didn't buy Elodea. Mm -mm. Nope. I like the fact that I don't always have to look at the mini map because the little signs come up when you're about to cross the road and stuff. I think it helps with not crashing. Cause like if I'm looking at the mini map, I'm not seeing what's going on in front of me. Which is, I think a part of the reason why I will crash sometimes. I honestly love that game choice. I think it's an amazing one. Game design. Whatever it's called, I love it. I feel like people are trailing us though. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I went down the wrong way. Oh god. It's fine. <laughs> so you just turn around. Ooh. I feel like I swept that one pretty well there. Here we are. Sarah. You're late. Dinner's cold. He looks so, like, shell-shocked, almost. Marry me. Look. No rig. <laughs> I love how she was like, okay, and not yes. I, 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 that's just pretty funny to me. I won't lie. I'm, I'm a murder? Three o'clock. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom.
We have a mole, Tom. A no. rat. I was thinking that. Oh. That's how they knew the, um... I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. So I originally I thought that Sam was a mole, like he was a rat. Went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But I never trusted Frank. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Oh, the dog. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. I mean, I think Frank has acted suspicious. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. And I don't like him, but I don't know if it is Frank or not. I don't know. A part of me, I think it is, but there's a small part of me that thinks it's not, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna leave that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of Mafia. Okay, bye.